Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to install the Gridwiz desktop and use it with the Essentials edition. With the Gridwiz Essentials, you can manage and configure any number of devices and use many basic functions of the software for free. To download the Gridwiz, go to the download area on our website. Before installation, check whether your system meets the system requirements. You can view the system requirements by clicking this button. You can see the current release in the upper area. Click on the space to download the installation file. The installation file is now fully downloaded. Execute it. Depending on your system, you may need administrator rights to do this. The installation is being prepared. Read and accept the license agreement. Select custom installation type. Specify in which directory the Gridbiz should be installed. Project data is saved in an individual directory. Give the installation a name. This name must be unique and may only be used once to distinguish parallel installations from one another. Parallel installations allow you to divide your device among multiple installations to distribute the computing load. Only the Gridvis desktop is included in the Essentials edition. Remove the check mark next to Gridvis service. Select the default language for the configuration. Next, you can define the maximum amount of working memory available to the Gridvis desktop. Please note the Gridvis system requirements. Finally, set whether the Gridvis should be added to the Start menu and whether a shortcut should be created on your desktop. Start the installation. The installation is complete. Open the Gridwiz desktop. Select New Project in the File menu to create a new project. Once you have created your project, the licensing wizard window will open. Sign in with your Janitsa ID or create a new account. You can find more information on Janitsa ID in the video description. Once you are signed in with your Janitsa ID, you can license your project with the Essentials Edition. Either select the license already in the list or add a new Essentials license. If you would like to license your project offline, you can find a separate tutorial on licensing without an internet connection in the video description. Licensing via web client is not possible in this edition. Once you have licensed your project, you can add devices. To do this, Expand the Devices entry in the project tree and double-click the By Type folder. Click on Add New Device. In the New File window, select which file type you would like to add. As an example, I will add a UMG801 to the project. In the next step, select a connection type to add your device. The UMG801 is added via OPC UA. You can find out how to locate the IP address in your device in the user manual. Click on Connection Test to check the IP address. The result of the connection test is displayed in a pop-up window. Click on Finish to add the device to your project.
Select your device in the project tree. Click on Synchronize to transfer the measured values stored in the device to the Gridvis. In the overview window, you can find information about the device as well as a display of energy values. Further measured values can be displayed by selecting them in the Value Explorer window. There are online or real-time values and historical values. Select a value and drag it into the middle area. You can also drag several values into one graph or display them in different windows. Thank you for your interest in this tutorial. For more information, please visit wiki.janitza.de.